Welcome back to the Community Corner Podcast, where we explore companies in the S500 through the lens of behavioral finance. I'm Arnav. And I'm Mikhail. Today, we're focusing on Albemarle Corporation, a global leader in specialty chemicals, particularly in the production of lithium bromine and catalysts. We'll be discussing how behavioral finance influences their strategic decisions, their DEI efforts, adaptation to global markets, and how they compare to other companies in the chemical industry. Let's dive in. Albemarle has positioned itself as a key player in the growing lithium market, but from a behavioral finance perspective, how do biases like acring and confirmation bias affect their decision making, particularly in their expansion and investment strategies? Anchoring is a significant factor in Albemarle's decision making, especially when it comes to pricing and market expectations in the lithium sector. As the demand for lithium skyrockets due to the electric vehicle boom, Albemarle may anchor its expectations on past performance or early market trends, potentially leading to overoptimism or underestimation of market volatility. Confirmation bias can also play a role, where the company might selectively focus on data that supports its existing growth strategy while overlooking potential risks. This can lead to aggressive expansion plans that may not fully account for market fluctuations or geopolitical risks associated with lithium mining. While these biases can drive short-term gains, they require careful management to avoid long-term strategic missteps. This focus on lithium has certainly placed Albemarle at the forefront of the energy transition, appealing to investors who are bullish on the future of electric vehicles and renewable energy. Exactly. Albemarle's dominance in the lithium market is both an opportunity and a risk. Investors are drawn to the company's potential for high growth, but this also means that Albemarle must navigate market expectations carefully and avoid the pitfalls of over-reliance on a single commodity. Let's discuss diversity, equity, and inclusion at Albemarle. As a global chemical company with operations in multiple countries, how does DEI intersect with their business strategy and what insights can we draw from behavioral finance? DEI is critical for Albemarle, especially given the global nature of its operations. A strong DEI strategy enables the company to better understand and serve diverse markets, enhancing its competitive edge. From a behavioral finance perspective, fostering diversity helps reduce cognitive biases like grouping, leading to more balanced and innovative decision making. For investors, Albemarle's commitment to DEI can signal a well-managed company that values long-term sustainability and social responsibility, which is increasingly important in today's market. Additionally, a diverse workforce is essential for driving innovation in the chemical industry where different perspectives can lead to breakthroughs in product development and sustainability initiatives. Investors are definitely considering DEI as a factor in their decision-making, and Albemarle's global operations make it especially important for them to embrace a diverse and inclusive culture. That's right. By prioritizing DEI, Albemarle not only strengthens its internal culture, but also enhances its ability to innovate and adapt to different markets making it an attractive choice for socially conscious investors. Moving on to global markets, Albemarle operates in more than 100 countries, providing a wide range of chemical products. How does the company adapt to different market environments, and how does behavioral finance influence this strategy? Albemarle's global strategy involves tailoring its products and services to meet the specific needs of different regions while maintaining its core technological competencies. From a behavioral finance perspective, this adaptability is key to managing the risks associated with international expansion. By understanding local customer behaviors and preferences, Albemarle can design products that are not only technically advanced but also highly relevant to each market. This approach helps mitigate the risks of market entry and expansion such as cultural misunderstandings or regulatory challenges and ensures that the company remains competitive globally. 
This adaptability has allowed Albemarle to maintain strong market positions across diverse regions, especially as they compete with both local chemical companies and other global industrial players. Exactly. Albemarle's ability to customize its offerings to suit local markets while leveraging its global expertise ensures that it remains a strong competitor in the chemical industry. However, this requires constant vigilance and adaptability to changing global economic conditions and customer needs. Now, let's compare Albemarle to other companies in the chemical sector like FMC Corporation, Dow Inc., and Eastman Chemical. How do Albemarle's behavioral finance dynamics differ? Albemarle's dynamics are often compared to other chemical industry leaders like FMC Corporation, Dow Inc and Eastman Chemical, particularly in their approach to innovation, sustainability, and market adaptation. Albemarle's strong focus on lithium and specialty chemicals appeals to investors looking for exposure to the high-growth sectors of the energy transition and advanced materials. FMC Corporation, with its emphasis on agricultural solutions, offers a different type of exposure focusing on sustainability and food production. Dow Inc. and Eastman Chemical, with their broader portfolios, appeal to investors interested in diversified industrial applications. Albemarle's specialization in lithium gives it a unique edge, but it also means that the company must carefully manage the risks associated with commodity price fluctuations and geopolitical factors. And unlike Dow or Eastman, which have diversified portfolios, Albemarle's strength lies in its specialization in lithium and advanced materials, which allows it to capitalize on the growing demand for renewable energy technologies. Absolutely. Each of these companies has its own behavioral finance dynamics that influence how investors perceive their value. For Albemarle, the focus on high-growth markets like lithium provides a unique value proposition in the chemical industry. To sum up, Albemarle's approach to business is deeply influenced by behavioral finance principles whether it's through their strategic expansion, DEI initiatives, or market adaptation. But like all companies, they must navigate the biases and perceptions that can influence investor behavior. That's right. Understanding these dynamics offers a clearer picture of what drives Albemarle's stock price and where the potential risks and rewards lie. Thanks for joining us on this episode of the Community Corner Podcast. Until next time, I'm Arnav. And I'm Mikhail. Stay curious and keep questioning the narratives. Thank you.